Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall. My love, if you feel like I do right now, don't say you're on the run to the other side. My love. Hey guys, welcome back. So, this drawer, I pretty much have all of my essential things that I use on a daily basis. So here I just have my eye primers from Too Faced, Urban Decay, NYX, NARS, everything is in there. I have my RCMA No Color Powder, and then I have my concealers for blemishes and highlighting in here. Some Makeup Forever, some Urban Decay, um, Garnier, NARS. So in here I have my mascaras from L'Oreal, Rimmel, Maybelline, and then I also have my liquid liners. I have my Line Stiletto, my NYX one, um, and then in this I have my eyelash glue, some scissors for my eyebrows, my tweezers, just some everyday essentials, and then I have my Cora's Jasmine Lip Butter, my Cary Grand Cinnamon Lip Whip, and then this Rosebud Solve um, kind of moisturizer, and then I have my Too Faced powder, some scissors, a moisturizer, some cleansing q-tips. Here are all my face primers. I have this one from Too Faced. I have one from Makeup Forever. This is the smoothing primer, one of my favorite ones. I also have the Smashbox Pore Minimizing one, also one of my favorites, and then this hydrating one and this smoothing one from Tarte, which is also really good. Back here, I just have some eyeliners that I use every day, usually white or cream, but I have a couple black ones in there. I have some eyebrow gel, have my Brow Wiz, and then um, I also have some MAC concealer that I use to clean up my brows. And then I have um, two shades of this Anastasia Brow Powder. So the next drawer just has all of my lipsticks, lip glosses, um, my lip liners, and then a sharpener. It has my lip to fool. This is a sharpener from NYX. I have various lip pencils from NYX, MAC, and random other companies. Here are all my MAC lipsticks. On the sides, I have all my Maybelline lipsticks, which are one of my all-time favorite from the drugstores. These are some Maybelline like gloss lipsticks. Here's some L'Oreal ones. I have some lip butters. These are from Revlon. I have some NYX high voltage lipsticks. I have these Urban Decay glitters back here. I also have all of these mini buxom glosses which are my absolute favorite. These are from the holiday collection. Some NYX butter glosses. Too Faced melted lipsticks. Then I have some random ones from Ulta, this one's from M Cosmetics, this one is also from Buxom. Then I have my NYX lipsticks back here, and then I have some Maybelline moisturizing ones back here that I think are discontinued now. And then just some more NYX ones in the back, and that's pretty much all of my lip products that I use on more of a daily basis. In the next drawer, I have all of my foundations from BB Cream, CC Creams, to High End and Drugstore. So here are all of my Almay TLC, one of my favorite medium coverage foundations from the drugstore. I have this Clinique one. I have this Boots um, Number no. 7 Beautifully Matte, also from the drugstore. And all of these are various shades of the Revlon Color Stay. And then I have my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in two shades. I have my L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder also in two shades. This is one from Maybelline. I have um, the Matte Velvet. I have this True Match by L'Oreal. This one is the Better Skin and that one is also by Maybelline. I have a Smashbox one, a MAC Studio Fix Fluid, this Rimmel Lasting Finish one, one of my favorite drugstore ones, another Smashbox Hydrating one. I also have another MAC one. This is the Matchmaster, I think it's a number one. And then I also have my all-time high-end foundation, the Lancome 24-hour makeup. And then another one of my favorites are the Too Faced Born This Way. So usually I have two of the ones that are my favorite. This is the NARS Sheer Glow in Mont Blanc. I have just some whips in the jars. And then I have a new one back here from Becca. This is their Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. And then back here I have all my CC and BB creams. 
I have one from Garnier. I have one from It Cosmetics, which is one of my absolute favorites. This is one from Neutrogena. I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation, which is really good. I also have the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. I have the CoverGirl 3-in-1, which is also a really good drugstore foundation. The next drawer has all of my setting sprays and also the Smashbox Primer Water and then some extra beauty blenders. I also have the Revlon kind of lip crayons in here. I have some of the matte ones, some of the more moisturizing ones. I have some NYX glosses in here. I have these Rimmel Show Off um, lip lacquers. And then I have several of the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. These are one of my favorites. The last drawer, I just have all of my teasing combs, brushes, detanglers. And then in this other drawer, I have all of my blushes and bronzers and contour powders. So here are all of my MAC blushes. I have the Hoola bronzer. These are all of my single Makeup Geek blushes and then also the MAC Emphasize powders in there, my Too Faced Book of Bronzers. I also have these BH Cosmetics blush palettes as well as the contour book. I have the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter, my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, as well as the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. Both of them are really good. I have this What's Up Highlighter. I have a NARS blush that came in like a little sampler. These are my NYX blushes. I have some from Wet n Wild. This is from CoverGirl. It's one of their older style packaging. This is their newer packaging. These are super good for drugstore. Back here, I just have a couple from Tarte. These are the Amazonian clay blushes that are also really good, and they last a long time. I have some of these mousse blushes. They're like a cream or whipped consistency. This is MAC Soft and Gentle, um, kind of a highlight. I have my Kevin Aquan Volume 2 Contouring Book, which has a cream and a powder, as well as some for the eyes. And then this is just my... Um, my holiday collection of Benefit blushes and bronzers. The next one, I have all of my face powders. It's pretty boring. I have some from Maybelline, Makeup Forever, L'Oreal, MAC, another MAC one. The Rimmel Stay Matte ones are really good. Um, this e.l.f. one, have some old ones from Maybelline. I have another one from Makeup Forever and another MAC one. And then in here I also have all of my other concealers that I don't use on a regular basis. I have another shade from the MAC collection. This is the L'Oreal True Match um, pencil. Here's another deeper shade of the MAC concealer. And then I also have the Sonia Kashuk that you can find at Target. Here's a NARS one. I have this one from Lancome. Over here I just have some tape, some Physician's Formula um, green powder to cancel out redness. I have some rice powders, some NYX brow powders, and then some Coco Lashes as well as Red Cherry and also from Ardell. The next drawer has all of my eyeshadow palettes. So here is the Tarte Lip Palette by Tarte. I have the BH Cosmetic Galaxy Chic Palette. I have the Kat Von D one. This one is super beautiful and super pigmented. I have the Urban Decay Naked Basics 1 and 2. And then I have all of the Urban Decay Naked 1, 2, and 3 palettes. have this It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty where it has a... Um, they're all matte and you can transform them into shimmer. These are the Lorac Pro 1 and 2 palettes. And then I have the Anastasia World Traveler palette, which is really good. I have some brush cleaners in here. I have some BH Cosmetics palettes in the back that I don't use very often. This is just a little caboodle. These are some of my Makeup Geek shadows. These are my foiled Makeup Geek shadows. And here are all of my other Makeup Geek shadows. As you can probably tell, Makeup Geek shadows are my absolute favorite. That's why you see them so much in all of my tutorials because they're the main ones that I use. And then right here I just have another BH palette. In the next drawer I have all of my hair essentials. So I have this Big Sexy Hair Texturizing Spray, a Tresemme Heat Protectant, my Powder Play Big Sexy Hair for Volume, my Batiste um, Dry Shampoo, my... Sebastian Shaper Plus and Shaper Hairspray. I have my Big Sexy Hair Root Pump and Hairspray. I have my Not Your Mother's Dry Shampoo. 
the last drawer I just have my hot tools, I have a straightener by Numi, a curling wand by Numi, and my Revlon hair dryer. Moving on to the tall Alex drawer, I have some bio oil in here, I have some philosophy hope in a jar moisturizer, and then just some mango cuticle oil. And here I just have some sample sizes, some Peter Thomas Ross cucumber mask, a Clinique moisturized surge. I have this from Philosophy that I've never even used, a Vaseline Cocoa Butter Moisturizer. These are all of my sample size perfumes. I have some Bite Lush Lip Wipes to remove some lipstick. I have some brush cleaner, some cotton rounds, and some more makeup remover. In this drawer, I have some cotton balls, Q-tips. I have my cotton rounds, baby wipes, makeup wipes. And then in here, I just have some leftover brushes, some blotting powders, some gel liners. I have some jewels for my nails and some tools. In here, I keep kind of all of my loose quads and shadows. Here are all of my loose pigments that I keep in here. And then over here, I have my L'Oreal pressed pigments. And these are my absolute favorite from the drugstore. They are so pigmented. And then I have my Maybelline color tattoos that I use kind of as a base. And this is just from the Galaxy Chic palette. These are all of my NYX single eyeshadows. I don't use them as much as I used to, but they're still really good. These are all of my NYX um, Pearl Mania loose powders. And then I have some um, glitter in here. I have this single shadow from Urban Decay. have some Physicians Formula, Milani, Maybelline. have an Avon quad. I have a, another Milani and just some other random ones. In this drawer, I just have some lip glosses in the back, NARS Turkish Delight, um, this one from Pop, this one from Sally Hansen. I have extra mascaras over here that I don't use very often. And here I have more eyeliners of different colors like silver and gold and stuff like that. These are all of my liquid liners that I don't use as often. A lot of colors that I use just for certain looks. Over here, all of my lip moisturizers by Fresh. Um, I have this one from Smith's, my favorite. And then I just have some more um, sharpeners back here just to sharpen any makeup pencils. Moving on to the other Alex drawer. On the other side, I have all of my sunglasses in here, some Ray-Ban, some from Target. And here, I just keep all of my watches and some of my jewelry that I wear more often. Most of it is from Charming Charlie, some were gifts, some were from Forever 21. But pretty much whatever doesn't fit in my jewelry box, which is pretty much full, I keep in here. And then over here I just keep some of my hair ties, I have some bracelets in here, I have some clips and bobby pins, and then this next drawer is kind of a hot mess. I kind of keep some nail essentials. So I have just like some nail art stuff. I have this thing to clean my brushes from Sigma. The next drawer is a hot mess too. It has all of my hair stuff, my clip-in hair flowers that I used to be obsessed with, some hair bands, um, some that I use for makeup just to keep the hair out of my face. The next drawer looks pretty messy too, but it's all of my belts that I keep in here. So I just have like a bunch of random belts stuffed in here. Probably not the best idea just to stuff them in here but it is what it is right now. On my vanity I have my JBL speaker, I have some hand sanitizer, I have some Bumble and Bumble Invisible Dry Oil, I have some Aveeno um, moisturizer with SPF, I have my little mini pink Canon camera, I have some flowers over here in a vase with a little butterfly and my mirror in the back. These are all of my face brushes and they all fit in here really compacted. I got this thing from, I don't remember, Home Goods or TJ Maxx, some type of store like that. This little jewelry or candle tray I got as a gift for Christmas for my sister and it just has a Bath and Body Works candle on it. This I keep my lashes in. It was also a gift from my sister and they were from Charming Charlie's. This little thing also came from either TJ Maxx or Home Goods or something like that. Um, this just has all of my eye brushes and they're kind of categorized into four sections. But they're really dirty right now so they're kind of all crazy, not really organized. Right here I just have a pink kabuki brush, a wine glass with some pearls stuffed with some pink paper. I have this 
hand painted little cat decor. Um, I have this little pink jar that I got from Goodwill with some beads. I just put one of my favorite rose perfumes from Juicy Couture as well as a lip gloss. This is the Paris Amour Bath & Body Works lotion as well as the hand sanitizer. This little tray, I just keep all of my beauty sponges and beauty blenders as well as some hair clips. Um, and then this is just a leopard coaster that I got from the dollar store. So I have this little jewelry box. I have some coral fake flowers. I have this skull piggy bank and that candle back there. Everything came from Home Goods except for the candle. So on my other tall Alex drawer, I have this flower from Home Goods, this cat jewelry tray from Forever 21. I have this vase that I got from. TJ Maxx, I believe. I got that candle from Bath & Body Works. I have some Mario Badescu um, drying lotion. I have some oil. I have some makeup remover, some Olay face cream, some whitening lightning, and I have this Bite Beauty lip mask. Amazing. I have some toner in here, some Mario Badescu toner, and some more toner. Some oils for my hair. These are just some spray-on ones and some more makeup remover. I have some Jergens Shea Beauty Oil. I have some Cetaphil Lotion. I have some Nivea Lotion and the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleanser. So that is pretty much it for my vanity tour and beauty collection. Really quick, I wanted to mention that the Light and Mirror were a DIY. My dad helped me build it if you were wondering about that. But thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!